This is problem number three from the practice ACT test. Problem number three is a little simpler problem. It is an elementary algebra problem, so it's classified as a little easier. Problem number three is for students who usually range from 16 to 19 on the ACT will get this problem right. Problem three is a basic operations and applications problems. It could go under data analysis a little bit, but I think it's more of a uh, basic operations. Okay, if you remember this problem, it talks about Ding's Diner advertises this daily special. Choose one item from each column for only four dollars and ninety-five cents. Thus, each daily special consists of a salad, soup, sandwich, and a drink. Okay, so you come into this diner. The four dollars and ninety-five cents is just part of the story. It has nothing to do with this problem mathematically, but you have. Of the salads, there's three different salads for you to choose from. Of the soups, there happens to be two soups. From the sandwiches, there's five sandwiches for you to choose from. And your drinks can be soda, coffee, or tea, so three different choices there. I get it. There are more sodas that you could fall into, and there is the different coffees. But this is all they're telling us right now. So we have three salads to choose from, two soups, five sandwiches, and three different drink options. All you need to do on this problem, doesn't matter the order you do it in because multiplication can go any way, is I'm gonna go three times two times five times three. Well, three times two is six, times this five is now gonna be 30, times this three, you have 90 different ways you could choose this special from this cafe. This could be changed anyway. This could have been 20 different soups. This could have been four or 20 different salads, five soups, 80 sandwiches. Obviously, the number gets bigger and bigger. It's just you take how many choices you have of each column times each other, and the way you multiply it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to go left or right. You can go inside numbers and outside numbers and then multiply together. Your choice. It does not matter which way you do it. 